When you're halfway through a challenge and you think that you just blew it Like falling off a log, just get up and don't poo-poo it Adventure's loads of fun, seize them and pursue it Take that leap of faith, find the will and do it We can do it, we can do it, there's really nothing to it With help from our friends, to work our own way through it We can do it, we can do it, we can really do it We've got the skill, just have the will and do it You know what true friends help can come in many shapes and sizes Especially when that friend is me, a master of disguises We can do it, we can do it, there's really nothing to it With help from our friends, to work our own way through it We can do it, we can do it, we can really do it I want to dedicate this song to that special little lady out there, and she knows who she is. <laughs> Hit it, croak bottom boys. When the sun goes down, I go zoom and run and sleep in my own room. There's no sadness, there's no gloom when I'm snug in my own room. His own room, his own room, his own room, his own room. Your room is any place you keep your stuff in. It's a hole if you're a puffin. Some place you don't take no guffin. Any room you're in, the buff in. Moss have cozy silk cocoons. That's the same as their own rooms. Even African baboons curl up tight in their own rooms. A room's one thing I'll never lack. I carry mine right on my back. Spider webs under brooms, that's the same as their own rooms. Their own rooms. Their own rooms. My own room. My own room. Well. My dad. Gotta go. Ooh, yeah. Well, that's the last of the junk. Somebody's almost got a new bedroom. Yay! Now I just need a place to put the car. I painted. And she did a great job. So, are you excited? Yeah, I'm going to have my own room tonight. Hold on, champ. It's not quite ready. But my bed's in there. Sure, but your posters and toys aren't. I'm ready. Look at this. See? Total ready. Sleeping alone's not as easy as you think. I do it at Grandma and Grandpa's. You never did. Never did. I need my own space. I've got college in a couple of years. <laughs> okay, let me get the sheets out. Sleeping in your own room? You're gonna hear them. Hear what? Noises. So what? There are always noises. I'm talking about alone noises. They're completely different noises. I got the window side of the bed. Hey, I can set up my three million piece jigsaw puzzle on the floor. I've only got two pieces put together so far. I think it's some bark. I can't believe we finally got all that junk out of here. I painted all this. She did a little part near the floor. <laughs> you can't reach the ceiling, honey. Uh-huh. In case you can't handle it, your old mattress is still in my room. Ah, <sighs> my room. I like the sound of that. This is great. I think I'll put an astronaut tent in that corner. What's he talking about noises? I don't hear any noises. What a great room! We'll be fine. Unless this is one of those houses that has... Boogly sharks. What? Boogly sharks! They have big boogly eyes. They live in puddles under the floor. I think 
I've heard of those. What's the main sign you've got, Boogly Sharks? Creaking in the floor. My floor creaks all the time. Well, sure. That's them trying to break through the wood and eat your toenails. Eat my toenails? Well, good night. Well, what are you doing? Uh, there was, a uh, dust on the floor. I was trying to knock it flat so I don't trip on it. I think it's flat enough now. Why don't you get back into bed? Do it! Wake up! Uh, my name is Snack Palace Windshield Wiper. <laughs> oh, just a dream. I heard a noise. Did you put the ripped up tissues down to keep the boogly sharks away? Of course. But this is a different noise. More of a slam burp. Uh, I was afraid of that. You were? Cupboard monkeys. <laughs> the slam is them closing the cupboard. You never see them. I didn't. See? What's the burp? Ever eaten a sock? Clock! <laughs> What do they want? They sneak out when you're asleep and sing in your ears until you go bananas. Then, when you're bananas, they eat you. <laughs> what are you doing? Just going to the bathroom. It's uh, that way, right? <sighs> Again? With the headphones on, you'll only go nuts. And monkeys don't like nuts as much as they like bananas. What was that? What? Sounded like whoosh, rattle. Whoosh, rattle, whoosh. Here it is. Madagascar swooping lamp shrimp. It says they eat belly buttons. How come everything in a bedroom at night is so hungry? It says if you stick a feather to your forehead, it tickles them, they laugh, you wake up, and they run away. Are you sure? Lamp shrimp rule. Well? Hey, champ. Why do you have headphones and a feather on? And tissues on your feet? They were cold. And the snorkel? Giant wallpaper chung! Maybe you should sleep with Fred another couple of nights, honey. What do you think? Chicken, chicken, chicken! Muck, 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 muck. I'm in my own room. That's okay. I can sleep in my room. It's been nice knowing you. It's not easy being the middle child when there are boogly sharks about. Did you hear that? Was it a creak? A slam? A burp? A whoosh? A rattle? Or a woggle? More of a flump. Hello, woodpeckers. <laughs> we have to smear extra hot mustard on our ears right away. After I grow some ears. You know what? This whole thing's silly. My parents still have their belly buttons. Well, maybe they sleep face down. They don't sleep face down. They don't wear feathers or snorkels either. They don't? Are they crazy? <laughs> How would a pillow woodpecker get in my room anyway? Cupboard monkeys leave the window open? Fred still has his toenails. He kicked me with one of them yesterday playing soccer. Well, maybe his toenails are too dirty to eat. You know what I think? I think they're all just house noises. 
This book clearly says, with 50 pictures and an actual size mattress snake fold out. Who wrote that book? I did. Come on, you heard the wallpaper tongue go woggle. You heard the closet monster go flump. I didn't hear that one. It's kind of a flump, flump. Every house makes noises. Grandma and Grandpa's furnace goes whoomp, whoomp. Not according to this. Basement lions. <laughs> 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 You're more worried than I am. Well, sure! I've read the book! I've got an idea that'll solve both our problems. Go off at night, what you hear can cause you fright. But there's certain sounds that shouldn't make you jump. Like when something in your room goes creak, slam, burp, whoosh, rattle, woo, the floor. Creak, slam, burp, whoosh, rattle, woo, the floor. It isn't creepers creeping, things just settle when you're sleeping. It's just creak, slam, burp, whoosh, rattle, woo, go, flop. Could someone sleep on my branch with me tonight? A little music. A little fly paste on a cracker. Flies, they're not just for breakfast anymore. Guys, love the shiny behinds, but the stage is down there. Hit it, croak bottom boys. And here he is, all singing, all dancing, all food smeared. I just had lunch. Please, give a big hand, or wing, fin, whatever you got, to my best friend ever, Will Jeff Face Valentine. When you're looking for a feeling that is truly hard to beat, just kick off your shoes and play in your bare feet. It might feel cool and airy, or you might feel lots of heat. It depends on where you're playing in your bare feet. And don't need to be discreet You know you're rock and rolling Wearing your bare feet Feel the mud between your toesies And keep dancing to the beat Cause there's lots of stuff below these Your bare feet If you, you wanna, wanna feel a frog Or like, like a chimpanzee, chimpanzee You just have to take them shoes off And set your feet free Bare feet, bare feet, bare feet Swim it on, girls Bare feet, bare feet, bare feet Never guess what I got! Only big kids can have them! Yikes! A big brother brag! <gasps> so what is it that's so great? It's probably nothing. Not nothing! Call this nothing? Wow! This is a cowboy. And this is a knight. They're not for little kids. Gotta be big. You have to do up zippers and straps and even more stuff I can't even show you. I'm sorry. It's too complicated for you. Way too complicated. Uh, honey, are you sure you mean shoes, not toys? Boots. Cowboy night boots. I've got to have them if it rains, and it's going to rain Monday. My feet could drown without them. Let's see what we can find. Fred, Kate. Prefer 
probably something easy to put on, like slip-ons. <laughs> uh, let me look in the back. <laughs> Kate, honey, put that down. It doesn't go on your head. Does? Just needs eye holes. Hey, partner! Up here! Rare snake! In a shoe store? Could be a water moccasin. <laughs> the cowboy! Move, you bow-legged hayseed! Well, roast my taters! It's a young'un! What did you expect in a children's shoe store? A submarine? Do it! This is them! These are the boots! They're gorgeous! Like shoes, only bigger! Need some boots, huh? How old are you? How old do I look? Old enough, I reckon! It takes skill to do us up. You have to be nine. It says so right on the box. Have the technology to conquer even this problem using science, mathematics, and asking your mommy. <laughs> Zippers, straps, and cool buckles? Well, they're like video games for your feet. Let's get them! Uh, Mom? Uh, <sighs> Place beautiful shiny boot on foot and consider yourself the luckiest boy in the world. That's not what it says. Read the next instruction. Place other beautiful shiny boot on foot. Uh... Ow! You were supposed to practice. We're going to flop around like a bucket of fish. Reminds me of the first time I got on a horse. Dragged me 13 blocks. Uh... Turned out it was a train. Just look like a horse. Uh, uh, William, my London Bridge is falling down. Will needs more patience. Do it. What's patience? People in the hospital. I had an uncle who was patience. Will, time to leave for school. Uh, Place third beautiful shiny boot. Oh, no, wait. There's only two. This must be the dog instructions. Stop wiggling! Look here. You've got to... <laughs> Good luck undoing those. Don't talk to me. Told you you needed slip-ons. Huh. We didn't listen. Okay, kid, we're gonna have a great game today. I prepared a detailed diagram. This is gonna be simplicity itself. First, we need to get zipper A from position A39 to position A79B. Then buckle C6942 and strap D1700 need to be brought from position X12. Forget it. I like them the way they are. Oh, don't be like that. With a little patience, we can lick this thing. In fact, with this tongue, I can lick anything. Ever wonder what the back of your head tastes like? Huh. Salty, but not unpleasant. Ah, uh, seems to be stuck. Uh, a hand here? Aren't you supposed to put the strap through the buckle? And aren't the zippers supposed to be at the top? This is a secret way of tying them only spies know. Spies? I used to wear slip-ons. Call me Frog. Double O, Frog. Don't worry, Sam. One day you'll be old like me, and you can have secret spy boots, too. <laughs> that looks like fun. I'm going to jump right in the middle of that puddle. What? Now! Hey! On water! Mayday! Man the life boot! <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you! Kid who's not my brother! <laughs> Look, you pull the tops up and hold them together. Slowly lift the zipper. Keep the strap straight. Put the tab through the buckle, pull it back, and push the little pin through the hole. There you go, kid! 
I took down every word. So I read it back, but without the Big Brother attitude? <laughs> Will, your spy boots. I don't want them. I found a bigger puddle. I'm going to jump in it, and I'm going to splash around, and I don't need any silly boots. Think there are rocks in there? I can't watch. Don't worry. I've got everything you'll need for after you jump. Crutches, teeth glue, tongue bandages, nostril flowers. <laughs> These are really just to brighten up the hospital room. You know what? I'm only jumping in a puddle of my socks because I was too frustrated to tie my boots properly. Face bucket. I only hope we don't have to use this. I don't need a face bucket. I need patience. Where are you going? Back to the store to find someone who wants us, perhaps a small-footed 30-year-old. I was thinking, if you aren't busy, maybe I could try your buckles again? Why, sure. Who are you again? He's the one who threw us in the puddle. Wish I had a lasso for every time I was thrown in a puddle. One time in Dodge City. Not another cowboy story. Take us quick. Pull together and zip. Strap in the buckle. Pull back. Pin through the hole and... Ta-da! Oh, I'm your biggest fan! Look this way! Show me those pearly white zipper teeth! I'm prancing and dancing. Isn't this a hoot? A splitching and a squashing in his new boots. boots. With zipper straps and buckles, they're as cool as they could be. Let's sing about my new boots and three-part harmony. New boots, new boots, new boots. New boots, new boots, new boots. New boots, new boots. Oh, oh, yeah! yeah. Anytime, Ranger. <sighs> All's well, as I told you it would be. Tony! Did you see that? <laughs> the rodeo ride that almost crushed me? Yeah, I saw it. Up close. Ranger Dex earned the Carillion's trust, so the Carillion left him as Anamite. Now the Ranger can summon him at any time. I look around and everything I see reminds me that I just don't belong here. You may be the only one who can keep Agram locked in the core. Orwin believes you are the final dreamer. We need you here. What if he's wrong? This is your world, not mine. My grandfather needs me too. I gotta find a way home.
The Carillion is mine! Oh. Ah. <laughs> Strag tells me you're looking for a way home. Look, I'm sorry. I just don't fit in here. We don't even know if I am your final dreamer. I know it's hard for you. I know you're wondering why you're here. I'm here because of you! You're right. I thought I'd be going to school, running with the track team, hanging out with my friends, back home, where dogs don't have fuzzy antennae. Will you come with me and give yourself a chance to find out why I brought you here? Sure. I guess the least I could do is listen. Something to make you feel like one of us. <laughs> Thanks. Where are we off to? The past. The Living Gardens is a place of learning. A living history of the Moonlands. From the earliest settlers of Vashnarum to your arrival in the Weave. Cool. But why do you have this hidden in a maze? It's called a labyrinth. One way in and one way out. But there are options along the way. It's to remind us the journey can be simple. We just need to make the right choices. <laughs> nice cloak. Just trying to fit in. You might want to rethink the shirt and pants then. <laughs> Whatever. I won't be staying here for long. If you are the final dreamer, then we will need you to stay. Which is why we're all here in the Living Gardens. The core glyph sealing Agram into the darkness. He exchanged his sight for the ability to see into people's dreams, to corrupt them into shadow magi. Those shapes on the wall, they look like the ones on the Book of Elders. They're dream stones. Eleven of them to be placed in the core glyph. Once completed, the glyph is the key to locking Agram in the core forever. It is also the only force powerful enough to rip open a doorway and allow Agram to escape the core. One key, one way in, one way out. The core glyph may be the key to sending you home as well. Let's find this glyph and these dream stones. We can both get what we want. The dream stones were scattered throughout the moonlands. As for the glyph, I don't know. Maybe a dream stone landed here. Kyber's teeth. The most dangerous mountain range in all the Moonlands. Kyber's Teeth is thousands of feet high with hundreds of caves. I can find this Dreamstone. What makes you think you can find a Dreamstone in all that? Because I know someone who's been there before. Farrakh! This may be my ticket home! <laughs> a Chaos Plith! For the location of the Dreamstone, I'll pluck it from Kyber's teeth, and he'll reward me handsomely for it. He can't be allowed to leave. I got him. <laughs> Block the entrance. Corner him in a round room. <laughs> I got, I got him! No. Stop! <laughs> Get off me! I would if I could! Oh, he's gone! We have to hurry, or Agram will have the first dream stone. With this animite, I imagine free! Sorry about your ankle. Is it broken? Hmm. Just a bad sprain, I think. Let's get moving. My track coach always recommended rice for treating a sprain. Rice? Steamed or boiled? <laughs> no. Rice is short for rest, ice, compression, and elevation. Uh, uh. Your sprained ankle will slow the three of us down. Three? What makes you think you're ready for this? Because it all fits. 
Agram arrives. He faces off with me. You call Tony. I find Tony. Strike finds me in the weave. We, the three of us together, could be the final dreamer. And the Book of Elders will prove I'm right. Wait. Agram, then Tony, then you, then the book. You are the most confusing person I know. What does that have to do with the Dreamstone and Kaiba's teeth, which you are not going to on your own, I might add? It all fits. Eleven Dreamstone shapes on the wall in the Living Gardens. And eleven on the Book of Elders. Guys? The Book of Elders sent us our most heartfelt desires. If we are supposed to hunt for the Dreamstones, the book will show us the way. Wait! Searching Kyber's teeth isn't a game. <sighs> What's it say? The diamond in the crown of the north is the beginning and nearly the end. Your only guide will be to go back in time. Follow the hour back almost to the end. Only the most worthy will succeed. So we're looking for a diamond or a time machine or maybe just the end of the world. <laughs> but I'm in. Let's go! <sighs> All right. Your sense of direction will be key to your success. Head south down river and you'll reach the base of the mountains. The peaks of Kyber's teeth will surround you at the river's end. Choose your path carefully. Anybody have a compass? It will do you no good in Kyber's teeth. The mountains are filled with iron ore and that makes any magnetic compass unreliable. Then the riddle will be our guide. The diamond in the crown of the north is the beginning and nearly the end. A crown is worn on the top of your head, and the crown of a mountain is the top! See? Half the riddle solved, and for the rest, we've got you. Really? Thanks. Whoa. <laughs> well, not just you. We've got Farrakh, remember? Please, take care. We will, Orwin! <gasps> I am Chur, Shadow Magi. Do not belong on Kyber's teeth. Speak. Magi are coming from Fashion Room to steal a dreamstone. What dreamstone? It's here in Kyber's teeth. They know where it is. Then I shall be ready. Kyber's teeth. It looks creepy, even from here. It will not look any better up close. But up close is the only way we're going to find this Dreamstone. This may be the coolest part of being here. With this Animite, I imagine Farrakh! It's not often I get invited on a boat trip. Why not? And what's happening to your fur? I get seasick. Where are we headed? Kyber's teeth. We're looking for a dreamstone. You've been to the Living Garden? Yes. And you are way older than you look. Thank you. I think. <sighs> if we're headed to Kyber's teeth, you should know all that I know. I was waiting out a storm on the northern peak in Kyber's teeth when the Dreamstone dropped from the sky.
Dreamstone buried itself deep into the mountain top. As quickly as it came to Kyber's teeth, it was gone. That mountain peak is where you'll find the Dreamstone. Here it is! This path was my way off the mountain that night, and the Dreamstone should be up there. Once we reach the peak, we can decipher the rest of the riddle and uncover the Dreamstone. <gasps> An avalanche? If only you were that lucky! I am Chur, Shadow Magi. Reveal the location of the Dreamstone. <laughs> to get hurt. We need a way out. Can you shell saw that boulder? Shell saw it is. One door coming up. I thought no one was going to get hurt. Let's move. Climb on. Freak to the dream plane. caves to choose from this is just like the labyrinth the journey can be simple we just need to make the right choices if we read the first part of the riddle correctly we're at the top are we sure this is the northern peak Farak's shadow does not lie his shadow is on the left according to the compass points if Farak's shadow is on his left the Sun is on the right the Sun sets in the west so that means this way is north. We are definitely on the northern peak. The north is the beginning and nearly the end. Your only guide will be to go back in time. Follow the hour back almost to the end. Only the most worthy will succeed. Anyone see a clock around here? If north is the beginning and nearly the end, let's start there. Your only guide will be to go back in time. Counterclockwise around, follow the hour back almost to the end. That cave should be the one. What do you think? I think Chur will be here any minute, and either way, that cave looks like a pretty good place to hide out. Running water in a frozen cave on top of a snow-filled mountain. That doesn't make any sense. No dreamstone in sight. Whoa, that first step could be your last. Watch the edge. It is slick with ice crystals. It would be a shame if you fell in. The dreamstone isn't here. We don't know where it is. I don't believe you. You'd better be careful. There's a lot of ice in here. I know. <gasps> Look out! Give me that dreamstone now! Oh, whoa. <laughs> 
enough of this! now? He must. His staff was lost in the waterfall. Look! You are in search of a dreamstone, and have proven yourselves. Because we solved the clues on how to get here? Because you made the choice to save Chur. I wouldn't have saved you. Maybe that's why you live alone up here in the middle of nowhere. Life's journey can be simple. We just need to make the right choices along the way. You are a worthy Magi. I'll take that! We're searching for all the Dreamstones. Can you help us find the others? Prove yourself worthy, and they will find you. The Book of Elders will hold it close until we find the Corglyph. One down, ten to go. By the time we're done, Agram won't know what hit him. Spoken like a true Magi. <laughs> well, I'm not really a Magi, but... No! I get to be Tony this time! I'm Tony, the mighty Magi! Quickly! Throck, we must find the Dreamstone! <laughs> <laughs> Ago, Dragon protected the valley, but was punished by heaven for his arrogance. He blamed us. Now, trapped in his icy prison, he plots to destroy us. Our only hope might be my pupil skunk. Yo, skunk fool, balancing the earths and the heavens with an old wise panda and a whole pack of regions. Fox, rabbit, pig, snake, and killer bees. Duck, crane, tiger, fighting off ninja monkeys and bad bulls. That evil dragon won't prevail over young skunk skills and that old stink tail. Defender of the valley from the dragon in the lake. Use your mind, body, and soul to fly as you meditate. The yin, the yang, the shadow boxing technique. Skunk fool! Art of giggling. Hey, you! Get over here! Hurry up! Make sure the boulders are all stacked here at the edge. Right over the valley. <laughs> hide and seek! Hide and seek! Ox, you're it! Okay. Nine, five, L, N, two, nine. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> hey, Squirt. 
Pandy sent me to tell you, you're late for your lesson. I am? Not you, skunk! I got better things to be doing, believe me. So get your stinky little tail over to Panda <laughs> now. With some training, maybe someday you'll be as tough, graceful, and as all-round perfect as I am. <laughs> I meant to do that. Oh. Relax, I'll center your being. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, Master Panda. <laughs> <laughs> Aya! You must be still of mind and body. Apparently, young skunk, you have been struck with an uncontrollable case of the giggle fits. You need to learn self-control. Mastery of archery takes stillness of mind and body. Clear your thoughts. Are they clear? Good. Now focus your energy. Focus, focus, as you achieve perfect stillness, aim for the target, and let your arrow fly, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> you are not ready to work today. You are dismissed, Skunk. I'll stop. I know I can stop. Hey, Pandy, I, uh... uh... <laughs> <laughs> Duck it up, Stinkball. You'll get yours. <laughs> Did you have something to report, Rabbit? <sighs> I just got word from Crane. She spotted a whole bunch of monkeys up on the mountaintop. Sounds funny. <laughs> like I said, sounds funny. I'm gonna go up and check it out. Uh-huh. I see. Oh, oh, can I go too? Please, please, please! I can be good. I can focus. Perhaps a mission will take your mind off this giggling. Ha! <sighs> Come on! <laughs> Sorry, I just can't help it. Well, it better stop now. Because we have serious work to do. Whoa! The monkeys are close. Be quiet. <laughs> what are they doing? Get down. Don't make a sound. <laughs> What are you idiots doing? Shh! You're gonna cause an avalanche with all that monkeying around! Better work! Shut it. Shut it now. I'm not kidding. Thanks! Let's get out of here before you get us killed! didn't get to see much before a laughing boy here nearly blew our cover. Oh. <laughs> Whatever they're up to, I say we attack. We would lose. What? No way! The terrain favors the monkeys. Our battle would be uphill. We would lose. Then what do we do? Have Crane continue to watch and wait. What do you think, Doctor? Upon examination of the patient's problem, I recommend an ancient remedy that was invented over a hundred years ago. I forget by whom. Oh, wait, it was me. <laughs> My pill! Is there nothing else you can do? I'm afraid not. His body is healthy, but his mind needs training. And for that, you must bring in Master Frog. You will be punished if you laugh. Huh? Each time you laugh, you will have to play Leapfrog. Leapfrog. Belly button. Ha <laughs> 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 
Your giggle fit has stuck. Oh. It oh. seems tears accomplished what exhaustion could not. You cured me, Master Frog. This is the happiest day of my life. The practice of calligraphy increases hand-eye coordination. <laughs> <laughs> But your mind cannot be still by thinking upsetting thoughts either. I can't laugh. I can't cry. What can I do? <laughs> dumb valley animals, going about their dumb little lives. None of them knowing that very soon they're all gonna be crushed beneath a massive avalanche of boulders. There was a huge pile of boulders right on the edge of the cliff. I also saw what looked like praying mantis kissing Mrs. Duck, but you didn't hear it from me. The entire valley is in danger. Wow! All because of a kiss? Of course we're in danger, but I suppose you want to wait some more. Hey, everyone, we're about to be mashed flat by a billion tons of rocks. Let's take a nap. <laughs> you and I are going up there. Huh? Charge! No, Rabbit. Me and Skunk. <laughs> no, I'll ruin everything. That's right, he will. You've been eating too much bamboo, Panny. Y your brains are turning to wood. Skunk must learn that he has the power within himself to control his emotions. <laughs> Why risk it? Take me! I already have complete control over my emotions! <laughs> <laughs> That's the last rock! All of you, get it over to the edge! If you don't get back to work, you won't need to worry about touchy little poison ivy, because I'll make you all eat it! <laughs> Skunk, my confused apprentice. They are dangerous, but funny to watch. If your feelings tell you to laugh, then do not deny your self-expression. <laughs> They are funny, but instead of watching them, we have to stop them. Hey, I stopped. I don't need to laugh. It was holding back the giggle bits that made them worse. I'm cured! Huh? They're spying on us while we are working. That's totally sneaky. How are we supposed to come up with creative villainy under these conditions? I ought to go money complain. But first... Destroy them! Destroy them! Destroy them! Oh no! <gasps> What's up? 
Skunk, laughing has its place, as does serious work. As long as you understand when laughing is appropriate, you do not need to hold it back. Uh, a little help here? Tell me there's something better. Ah! Go ahead, try. How I Spent My Summer Vacation by Peter Benjamin Parker. I can sum it up in one glorious hyphenated word. Spider-Man. I am the spectacular Spider-Man! Only one thing missing. It's my last night before school starts. And I could really use some action. Did I tell you? One getaway jump to the next building and we're a million bucks richer. This ain't no million buck haul. Not after the big man takes his cut anyway. Ah, uh, shut up and jump. Oh, no, not again. Yep, again. <laughs> what is this, Marco, like the third time this summer? Just wait till I get my hands on you, you skinny little creep. Okay, so Marco, now tell me, the new spider signal, too much? It's my first night trying it out, and I'm just not sure it screams friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Be brutal. I mean, it's a guy with a lot of experience getting thrashed by, well, me. <laughs> I really value your opinion. This is a live feed. Then I've seen enough. Summon the enforcers. Already on their way. never been so pumped for the first day of school. Because today, everything changes. It isn't getting any easier, Anna. We're almost out of money. But May, I'm sure Ben left Ben with... Parker was many, many wonderful things, but a financial wizard he was not. <sighs> I miss him so. Oh, <laughs> but listen to me go on. We'll manage. And please, not a word of this to Peter. I wouldn't want him to be concerned. <clears throat> hey, Aunt May, how's the most beautiful girl in Forest Hills this morning? <laughs> Peter, <laughs> now hurry off. You don't want to be late on your first day. No, ma'am. I blame you for this. You told me to bring my magnetic air transport system to Oscorp. I, I know, you but... You arranged the meeting with Norman Osborne. And I, I had the best intentions. He studied my ideas and rejected them. Then announces Oscorp tech flight four months later. I, I, I am sorry, Adrian. Don't you dare apologize, Doctor. Oscorp has nothing to apologize for. Nothing to... Osborne, you stole my work. That's dangerous talk, Mr. Toombs. 
dangerous and unsupportable. Listen, you old buzzard. You've been at this for decades without one success to your name. If you never accomplished anything as a young man, who'd believe you created Tech Flight as an old one? Boys, show Mr. Toombs out. Good news. I don't blame you anymore. All right. The Parkers are desperate for cold, hard cash, but I'm not letting that spoil this moment. Hey, Pete! Harry, Gwen, how'd summer treat you? Science camp was fun. Yeah, well, the world tour stunk. My dad spent the whole trip locked in boardroom, so I spent mine locked in boredom. I should have stayed in town with you, Pete. At least we could have done nothing together. But now we're back. So, you ready for the torture that is M cubed? It'll be different now. Really? Because you spent half sophomore year stuffed in a locker. Uh, uh Pete? Uh, where are you going? To face my destiny. Peter Parker's a wall crawler, not a wall flower. And my life is about to change. Uh, 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 uh Sally? What's he, uh, is he? Uh, I think he is. Are you damaged? He, he did. did. Why in the world do you think I'd ever go out with Midtown High's champion geek? Hey, Rand, Puny Parker's hitting on your girl. Uh, Rand, I, <laughs> I didn't know you two were... School. Cool? You don't care? Why? You want to go out with him? I want to walk on a Parker-free planet, thank you very much. <laughs> Lucky you didn't try this with my girl, Parker. If your geek sweat got within one mile of Liz... Back I... off, Flash. I won't be your punching bag anymore. Things have changed. <laughs> you hear him threaten me, dude? The nerd thinks he's Spider-Man. Cow mm, cake. Oh, my lunch. Come on. The big man wants a word. Enforcers all present and accounted for, boss. Thank you, Hammerhead. Gentlemen, I'll get right to the point. For the last four months, a pest has plagued our operations. At first, I could hardly credit the reports. Thought the boys were trying to stiff us. Had to get a little rough to make sure they was sincere. Establishing patterns of movement took all summer. But last night, we had confirmation. The Spider-Man is real. And you want the enforcers to wrangle up this here spider? No, Montana. I want you to squash it. Chapter one by tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Parker, Miss Stacy, a word. I wonder if either of you remember a field trip we took last year to the laboratory of Dr. Curtis Connors at Empire State University. Trust me, that's one field trip I'll never forget. <gasps> me neither. Dr. Connor's research was, was thrilling. I'm glad you feel that way. Because he's offering two internships to promising high schoolers. I recommended my two star pupils. You start this afternoon. Thanks for letting me kill time at your place, Harry. <sighs> I'm not due at the ESU lab for another hour. I'm just surprised you're not hanging at the school paper. Aren't you their star photographer or something? Not anymore. Someone else can take pictures of Flash prancing around the gridiron. I'll be too busy raking in the green. 
Uh, is this part of the same reality where Sally Avril's your... A minor setback. But at least this lab job solves the Parker money problems. I mean, look around. All this belongs to your dad, and he's a scientist. Boys, come out here. I couldn't help overhearing. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Osborne. I Don't you dare apologize, son. I never do. So what's this about a lab job? At ESU, working with Kurt Connors. Connors, huh? Quite an opportunity. Don't suppose you were considered for the honor, Harry? Uh, no, sir. It's totally not a big deal, Mr. O, but uh, thanks. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll get out of your way now. Osborne, can your tech fight do this? Tombs? Not tombs now. I'm what you call me. I'm the vulture. I called you a buzzard. What? You can't even get the name right. Tombs, stop. What will any of this accomplish? A means to an end, Osborne. Something you know all about. You will announce to the world that Adrian Toombs is the genius behind Tech Flight. You will pay me all that I am owed, and you will publicly apologize for stealing my invention! I never apologize, old man. I may be an old man, but I'm not a patient one. No! Ah! Ah! Oh, guys, you play hot potato hardcore. What is this? These skies are mine now! He may be right. I really just ran it. What are you babbling about? Put me down. Dude, you are the bossiest damsel in distress I have ever rescued. Also the no. ugliest, heaviest, and the first. Who are you? Why, I'm your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, of course. Spider-Man? I thought you were a myth. Man, I need a new press agent. He's not helping Stan. The perps he nabs almost always Heads walk. <gasps> What's going on? Explanations inside now. Look, Beaky, I admire anyone who dresses up as their favorite animal. Better still, you can fly. So I gotta ask, you heard the one about great power coming with great responsibility? Ah! Whoa, Beaky, don't fly away mad. The name is Vulture! That's great, Harry. I'm, I'm glad that your dad's safe. Me? Well, uh, you know, I tried to follow them on foot, and I, I ran for blocks, but... Yeah, I guess that was pretty useless. Uh, hey, look, I'm late, and, uh, Gwen's giving me the look, so, uh, bye. I so was not giving you the look. But I am late, right? Always, bro. Uh, Eddie! Hey, Gwen. Bro, what are you doing here? Work here. I'm the Connor's personal lab assistant. Not bad for a frosh, huh? <laughs> Eddie Brock's a freshman. College freshman, little man. But I'm guessing you're missing me at Midtown High, huh? No one to keep Flash Thompson off your back? Stole your shoes again, huh? <clears throat> Peter Parker or Gwen Stacy, I'd like you to meet Dr. Martha Connors. Eddie's told us great things about you both. Said you wore clean underwear. Lucky I didn't say socks. Kurt, stop hiding in the office. New interns are here. I'll be right out. Peter, Gwen, this is ESU's resident genius, my husband, Kurt. Uh, it, it's an honor to meet you, Dr. Connors. You look familiar, son. Weren't you the boy that was bitten? By the science bug. <laughs> you know it. Now, we won't overdo it the first day. Eddie will show you around the lab, but the real work can start tomorrow. 
So, questions welcome. Uh, here's one. Uh, what does this gig pay? <laughs> Pete, you're a high school kid with zero experience. You're not getting paid. <sighs> Aunt May needs my help. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, Pete, don't angst, okay? It'll come to you. Well, I'm waiting! You gotta admit, the girl knows her stuff. Oh, today's been one-stop shopping for disappointment. No money at home, no cool at school. I nearly pavement splat fighting a wacko with wings. And now, Daily Bugle security won't even let me use the elevator. But May and Ben Parker didn't raise no quitters. Any quitters. You get the idea. Robbie, where's my layout? Boswell, I ordered that rewrite 12 seconds ago. Lee, I'm not paying you to sit on your keister. And you! Me? Yeah, you! I sent you for my bagel and schmear nine minutes ago. You sent Benny, Mr. Jameson, and it's only been three minutes. Uh, actually, sir, I've got something better than a bagel. Oh, yeah? What's that? A proposal. I think I can get you pictures, photos, of Spider-Man in action. <laughs> I bet it would sell a lot of newspapers. What do you know about selling papers? You're a kid. Worse, you're a teenager. Miss Brandt, call security. Get this wailing infant out of my face, out of my city room, out of my town! Hey, what the Bugle needs is photos of Spider-Man in action. Now that'd sell newspapers, huh? <sighs> Today officially reeks. Not one thing's gone right. And now, the amazing Spider-Man is reduced to sneaking around for his shoes. All clear? Osborne! Go, go! You want to escape me again? My thought exactly. Target sighted at last known location. Boys? Let's squash us a bug. Trick or treat! <laughs> I mean, you are celebrating Halloween in September, right? Or am I not one to talk? Strangest darn gig big man's ever slid our way. We're flying with the freaks now, boys. I got no idea what that big bird's about, but I am mighty glad he's keeping our bug busy. Target locked. Whoa, my spider sense is... <laughs> Fancy Dan, you're up. Look back. If you needed a breath, mint, you just had to ask. Oh, that's not good. Uh, 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 boys need a workout. Now, no turning tail. Uh, seriously, who are you guys? I think we lost them. It's not that I'm running, but there's this vulture guy out there, so if we could just postpone... You're strong. Point taken. But can you do this? Didn't think so. Now, I know you can tear right through that. 
But I wouldn't recommend it. Son, you're making the enforcers look bad. I can't have that. You will apologize! I won't! Man, this is a sweet ride. That sunroof comes standard? Why did you defend that thief, Osborne? Uncool! Do you know what these spider suits cost? Never fought anyone like this group of bozos. Only one thing I know for sure. I can't let Harry lose his dad the way I lost Uncle Ben. Surf's up! Woohoo! There, the car park! Go! Go! No! This is all your fault! Two birds, one stone. Where'd that varmint get to now? Did you really think you could hide from me there? My, my wing! I, I can't steer! Yeah, but you're still airborne. How does that work exactly? Yo, Vulci, you're humping. Humping! You idiot! You doomed us both! <laughs> you so have not been paying attention. Well, three out of four ain't bad, especially on Bizarre Bad Guy Night. Now, if I can just get my shoes. Oh, perfect end to a perfect day. Aunt May, you're awake. Sit down, Peter. We need to talk. I know you're a good boy. I'm growing up to be a fine young man. The man of the house now, but you're still my responsibility. I can't have you out till midnight. You're to be home by 10 o'clock. That's my bedtime. Oh, but Aunt May... If you're late, you call before 10. If you do call, it had better be to say you're on your way home. That's the law in this house, Peter. Do we understand each other? <laughs> sure, Aunt May. That's fair. Lovely. Now, how about a slice of banana cream pie? Okay. Nothing went as planned today. Understatement of the year. But I'm still Spider-Man and still undefeated. And I still have this amazing person watching out for me. Tell me there's something better. Go ahead. Try. It's not that kind of suit, Mr. O'Hearn. You will never be able to remove it. But it's tough, right, Doc? Indeed. But your skin will fuse to the armor. A thick titanium resin armor. A permanent change. Is it me? Or is your boy trying to talk my boy out of this? Look, O'Hearn. You'll be tough. Tough enough to bring down you-know-who. Then what's the holdup? Let it finish, Otto. You owe me a success. No more flukes like the Sandman. I need super mercenaries I can mass produce, no matter how many thugs we have to go through, or how many doctors. What's with the jungle look? Ah, uh, the Animal Kingdom offers many useful ideas. Now, that armor is a part of him now. A thick, impenetrable hide. The extras up top there provide offensive capabilities, making him unstoppable. The good doctor has his quirks, but this approaches confidence. Your Mr. Lincoln will be pleased. Ixnay, we don't ever use the L word. Call him the big man. What's going on? Mind your own business, O'Hearn. Right. My business. Better get to it, then. The Rhino 
know the one that keeps Spider-Man waiting! Isn't it here? Score! Yeah, and Spidey's too busy popping big bands to worry about us. Ta-da! Say my name and I magically appear. Okay, you should fasten your seatbelt, and you should pull over. Right? Oh, okay, yeah. No way! So, uh, guess it's fall formal time in Midtown. Pete ask you yet? Pete says he isn't going. Tell you what, let me be your date. I'll even dance. Uh, you don't even have to dance. Plus, if you say yes, I promise to stop asking. Parker! I pay you for front page material. This stuff belongs back with the bunnies! So you don't want them? Not the point. What is the point? Here's the point. Quit harassing my secretary and get me a page one webhead blowout. Uh, trust me, Mr. Jameson. When Spidey goes into action, I'll be there. Listen, you insufferable whelp. When your publisher, you, Benny, I said corned beef, not pastrami. What, you want to give me gas? You're only four years older. When you're 70 and I'm 66, uh, I'll seem quite the catch. <laughs> All right, I'll think about it. Th that's great. You won't regret it. It's just a maybe. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm wearing her down. What's this? It's a great day. <laughs> For starters, I sold more picks. Here's 90% to pay the bills and 10% for my new camera fund. And that's not even the best news. I'm going to the formal, Aunt May. I got a date. Almost, for sure. That's wonderful, Peter. I had hoped you'd change your mind. So I took in your uncle's tuxedo to save you money on a rental. The garage and car service will be expensive enough. Oh, car service? Oh, this will barely pay for the corsage. What am I going to do? I, I can't ask Betty to take the bus. Betty? Who's Betty? Miss Brand, I'm Mae Parker, Peter's aunt. Might I buy you a cup of coffee? Well, it's official. I'm going to the fall formal with Glory Grant. <laughs> I can top that. I'm almost definitely going with Betty Brandt. <laughs> hey. Grant, Brant, our girls rhyme. <laughs> Puny Parker's got a date? Right. You wouldn't know her, Flash. She's 20 years old and hot. <laughs> Come on, at least tell a good lie. Bet you show up without any date. Or you don't show up at all. I'll take that bet. Loser dresses as a cheerleader for Halloween. You're on. 
Oh, look, my girl's texting me now. Having coffee with Aunt May. Um, how old did you say your girl was? <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> No one goes up to the bugle without a pass, sir. Make an exception. Hit 22, please. These don't work so good on the little buttons. Actually, uh, 22's already pressed. Uh, so, you going to the bugle? <laughs> yeah. Your name ain't Parker, is it? <laughs> no point in paying city prices when there's perfectly good coffee here. Oh, I do appreciate a sensible girl. Bring me Peter Parker! What does that awful man want with my nephew? Shh, we'll ask Peter later. I ain't stupid. Peter Parker takes all the web creeps' pictures. Gotta hurry, before Aunt May destroys everything. Who do you think you are? Oh, or what do you think you are? I'll give you 15 seconds to write me a check for these damages or... I, I mean, how may I be of service? Peter Parker! Now... Uh, Parker? Uh, uh, Parker the photographer? Oh, never met the guy. Uh, no address either. Uh, only makes contact by email. What a fine, brave man to protect my nephew that way. I'm glad Peter's found such good people to work with. But you're too old for it, dear. <laughs> What do you think, I'm stupid? Well, you are dressed stupid. That it put me down! It's for your own safety, Pickle Puss. That it... What do you want with Parker? You, just you, and payback for all the times you took me down. Oh, her? Not anymore. Call me Rhino! Hey, watch it! Glass doors are expensive! Your group's useless now, creep. First Marco becomes Sandman, now this? What's the big man's next move? Turning Flash Thompson into the belligerent bug zapper? I can't stop this bruiser. Maybe two feet of concrete will. No! Attention, Rhino. Lay down flat in your crater. And keep your hands where we can see them. You see them now? Hey, Needle Nuts! Party's over here! <laughs> you like being hunted, freak? Would you please look who's talking? Well, I may be a freak, 
but I'm not a coward! Even the old no herd never ran away scared! I'm scared, all right. I'm scared some bystander will get hurt. Gotta lure Rawhide someplace deserted. Find deserted in a city of eight million. Stupid truck! Let me lose Spider Tree! Confident. He stops to satisfy before smashing me. Unless it's not confident. <laughs> okay, break's over. Ha! You missed! <laughs> Let's play follow the leader. Think you can hide from me down there? Think again. Woo! Hot enough for you? Come on, you big lug. Let's go for a run. <laughs> Can't help noticing. You've stopped spouting off. What's the matter? Mouth a little dry? <laughs> See, my mistake was trying to crack open that hide of yours. Uh, nothing can do that! Big man's guys told me! I'm... Impenetrable! Too true. And if nothing can penetrate, you can't perspire. Your face is sweating for your whole body. It's probably enough under most conditions. But in a steam tunnel... I gotta get out of here. Yeah, good luck with that. Come one, come all, before your very eyes, the world's largest dehydrated turtle. I swear I'm gonna crush you. Promise big man I'd crush you. Crush you. Crush you. Crush you. Are we losing it a bit, Alexander? Only mama calls me Alexander. You're not my mama. Not my mama. Mama. Yes, I think we are. Mama. Do I have to go to school? 
So, Alexander, tell Mama. Who's the big man? Ixney, we don't ever use the B word. Call him Mr. Lincoln. Oh, you're gonna need a crane. I'm impressed. Rhino's still on the ground, and Oscorp's already got the contract to build his prison cell. After our success containing Sandman, whom else would the city call? Meaning you get paid coming and going. Sweet. Very. But these midtown brawls, people are beginning to ask questions. Best to let things cool off for a bit. We cool off when the big man says so, see? Or do you want people to know who created Freak 1 and Freak 2? Please. There's nothing to trace them back to Oscorp or myself. Really? Tell that to Dr. Octavius. Hey, Dad, great news. I got straight A's on my midterms, I made the varsity football team first string, and I have a date to tonight's fall formal with one of the hottest Harry, girls in- Harry, can't you see I'm in a meeting? Get out. Yes, sir. Sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. That wall crawler's as bad as the rhino! I'll sue him blind! Is it, uh, safe to come out yet? Peter, were you here this whole time? It's okay. I was hiding. I'm good at hiding. I can also be very heroic. Honest. Could we talk for a minute? About tonight? I can't go with you. I'm, I'm too old for you, and it's just too weird. You think I'm weird? Oh, no, you're not weird, Peter. It's weird. I'm sorry. Oh, dear. How disappointing. I imagine you need some time alone. I'll find my own way home. I gotta make something go right. Uh, Mr. Foswell, do you know anything about a Mr. Lincoln? A 16th president? Uh, not, not that Lincoln. This one might also go by the name Big Man? Oh, you must mean L. Thompson Lincoln. Yeah, rumor surfaces every few years that he's some kind of crime lord, but hey, I checked it out. Lincoln looks a little odd, but he's one of the good guys. A true philanthropist. Straight as he come. Hey, if there is a big man out there, his name's not Lincoln. Ow! I'm here to see Mr. Lincoln. Then you should make an appointment. But perhaps we'll make an exception for the hero of the day. I am L. Thompson Lincoln. Please, you're the big man. In my life, I've been called many names. My favorite is Tombstone. Back off! I just took down the rhino. A pale guy in a suit doesn't sleep. Don't move. Just listen, and I'll teach you the facts of life. The big man, whomever he might be, has nothing against heroes. No hero can thwart enough crime to dent his income. But you, you frighten criminals off the street entirely, except when you're off battling the likes of the rhino. Then the big man's profitable army of petty thugs think themselves beneath the Spider-Man's notice. So as long as I keep fighting crime, you'll keep making bigger and badder- Now you're learning. But there is a way out. Come work for me. You can still save the world like a good hero. I'll even pay you. All you have to remember is to look the other way on occasion. On any occasion I choose. I can't ever look the other way again. Let's finish this. <sighs> if you insist. Officers, Spider-Man has trespassed on my property assaulted my employees and threatened my person. Wait! You can't listen to him! He's the bad guy! He's... <laughs> Freeze, Spider-Man! You're under... <sighs> never ran from the cops before, and this reeks. I've won all the battles and never came close to winning the war. The Tombstone did make one mistake. Now I know there is a war, so bring it on. Oh, see, a 
perfect fit. But what's the point? Betty said no. Gwen's not home. I already lost the bet to Flash. Showing up alone would just make it worse. Well then, isn't it lucky that Anna Watson's niece, that sweet Mary Jane, is on her way over? Miss Wonderful Personality? <laughs> is coming here? Now? There she is. Oh, my, what a lovely dress. Here, I bought her corsage. Couldn't afford the limousine, but... You, you plan this? Aunt May, you're an evil mastermind. Just answer the door, dear. <sighs> Do you mean you're Mary Jane Watson? <laughs> Face it, Tiger. You just hit the jackpot. Nestor is a royal best. Save the world! Roll the quest! You may be in large, but I'm in charge. Save the world! Roll the quest! Without me, kid, you wouldn't get too far. Come along with Nestor and Quest! Save the world! something here even better than water. Pus bugs. Mm, mm, mm. A little salty, but a tasty treat. Oh, mm. uh, open your mouth. We can share. Mm, sure. Thanks, but uh, no thanks. Yeah, it's hard to tell how they look when they're in your mouth, but I'm thinking it's your loss. We need to find mm. some water. Oh. Yes, water. Wait, go. such a baby. It's just pond water. That's not water. Ah, uh, uh, those are not mine. Uh, the pond is alive. It's some kind of creature. Uh, we've been swimming in spit. Ew, 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 yuck. An inside out beast. Haven't seen one of them in quite a while. Grab Anna and the run. What about Graham? Anyone who eats pus bugs can take care of himself. Ah! Where are we? Up to our ankles in taste buds. Yes. Ah! Let's do it. Rouster special. It's like to have a scratch you can't itch. Oh, that's good. Time to put a lid on this creep. This inside out pile bucket needs to get some shut eyes. Dreams, you big ugly thing, you. A little warning. 
would have been nice. Oh, you mean like wait, don't? <laughs> Nerve twitch. <laughs> Quest is so not gonna be happy about that. Aw, uh, he's not happy about anything. I can't believe we were swimming in the stomach juices of that, that inside out beast. <laughs> well, I would say that was a bit of a delayed reaction. Ugh, I guess the shock wore off. Oh, yeah. I want to make it to this pass before nightfall. Albert, find Quest and bring him to us. Then use the smell of Nesta's dirty socks to help you locate us. <laughs> Hey, you didn't even ask! Would you have preferred I used your boxer shorts? I might have noticed those were missing. Wait! Lead us to water. Desert to the singing cacti. They'll have water in them. Follow me! As Prince, I have a natural instinct for navigating and superior leadership skills that will save us. <laughs> This place is too weird. That's not good. <gasps> Somehow I don't think we're gonna find any water here. Ah, maybe not, but there's sure to be some juicy grubs under those bones. <laughs> uh, let's see if there's water further in. Wait, where in Odyssea are we? Into the past of memories worst where you walk upon the path to sorrow. What's that mean? The path of sorrow is the path to the past. Oh, Wei's trying to say we can only leave by facing our worst memories. Hey, what's with the fog? When fog and memory connect backwards is the direction of our quest. We need to get out of here fast. Wait, back into the dagger until it's safe. I feel strange. What's happening? Oh no, it's happening already. Nesta, fight it, lad, fight it! Ah, nice to see they waited for us. Also couldn't read. Albert! It looks like it's up to me. Again. Go take a rest in the Shady Grove. And Albert, it's okay to lose the socks now. Good boy, Albert. Now, how to get into the Cavern of Sorrow without getting trapped in the haze? What's going on? Princey, want a Hertz Donut? What's a Hertz Donut? Ow! Hertz Donut! <laughs> now Ow. entertain me! <clears throat> I saw that lame dance routine last time! Show me something new! Now! <sighs> oh, that still looks like dancing to me! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Little Bo Peep, I've lost my sheep, and don't know where to find them. <laughs> uh, we'll see who's laughing tomorrow. The cherry float as you requested. You, bully, come with us. But my name's Billy! What do you do? Billying without a permit. I mean... Bullying. Uh, whatever. Take him away. A permit? I didn't know. And now you do. Take Bully away. Billy? Whatever. Bye-bye, Billy. How much longer? Oh, I'd say 20 more years, give or take a week. But my parents get upset when I'm not home by 7. Not to worry. This is your new home. And, oh, yes, your parents have already found a new son. What? <laughs> But I, I didn't mean. Well, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I'm safe at this height out of the haze, but the runt's gotta be down there somewhere. I don't know what happened. One minute the jewels were in my pocket, the next they were gone. Ah, don't worry, sir. When we catch the thief, he will be severely ah. punished. Hey, buddy! How's the missus? Who are you? Oh, sorry. I thought you were a friend. Stop there! Thief! What's going on? I remember when this was a good neighborhood. Oh, what's all the commotion at the arena? <laughs> Hey, kid, why are you crying? They say my dad's a jewel thief, and 
They'll have to fight in the championship of pain. Hey, kid, there's something you should know. <laughs> uh, crime doesn't pay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Got to fight it. Put her down and walk away. Please. <laughs> I'm okay! You can talk. Yeah, sorry. I was eating a peanut butter sandwich. You're welcome, princess. Oh, no! How could you? He was my husband. My father hated him because he looked different. Excellent work, Gatling. Could you imagine him as a son-in-law? I, I didn't know. If you'd given me time to explain, but no. Why stop and think? You had to rush to my rescue and ruin my life! No! I was just trying to help. What have I done? I apologize. Please forgive me. Did you see that? That stranger saved our Nestor single-handedly. <laughs> we appear to have a visitor. One I'm certain won't be with us long. Soon my grandson will be joining me. Together we will rule all of Odyssea. He says he doesn't remember who he is. Are you foolish enough to believe him? Hey, I forget stuff all the time. Yeah, in one ear, out the other. He's an exhibitionist running around in his birthday suit. I saved your butts. My butt, as you so eloquently put it, was not in need of saving. Yeah, 
I guess it's because it's big enough to take care of itself. <laughs> I can't believe he went there. I love this guy. Oh, I'm afraid the queen hasn't been the same since her father became Shadow Seed and turned to the dark side. My king, is it wise to speak so openly in front of a stranger? Quest saved my son, and as a reward, I grant him the greatest gift of all. A pony? Better. I dub the Quest Nestor's Nanny for life. <laughs> but your highness, I, I don't deserve such an honor. I'm royalty, and you have to accept my gifts, and that is that. <laughs> Must be my lucky day. Wow, nanny for life. That's a sweet gig. Hey, didn't you want that for a while, General Logan? Huh? Mm. Nanny for life? Logan? Huh? Didn't you? Huh? I devoted my life to the royal family, and this is how I am treated. I should be the one named nanny. <laughs> The feeding machine is one of my finest inventions. And look, it fits you like a glove. Oh, it sounds like our favorite prince needs to be changed. Quest. Shadow Seed has captured some of our citizens and taken them prisoner. We are in need of your assistance. Yes! Finally! And don't forget Princey! Remember, your duty is to protect him at all times. Will no one save us? It's the king! And I've brought some friends with me. I don't have time to feed you now. No, I'm not changing you either. The prince is a spirited lad. Perhaps you could settle him with a lullaby. I am not musical. Oh, as your king, I command you to sing. Lullaby and good night. Let's have a good fight. Seek your foe, kick their butts, and remember to fight. <laughs> Sorry for being so tardy to the mix, but we managed to locate Mullocks. Shadow Seed's lair, a dark living castle. This must be the colorful warrior nanny I've heard so much about. Yes, Sir Gatling. Quest, this is Gatling, my captain of the guards. Oh, I hear you're as good with a bottle as you are with a good sword. And your diaper skills are legendary across the land. I owe you one, Runt. If it is Quest the king wants, he can have him. I am done here. General Ogun, I was expecting you. Give me the power to destroy Quest, and I will pledge to you my eternal allegiance, Lord Shadow Seed. Hmm. Will you be willing to do some cooking and light cleaning? Anything within reason, my lord. But I need Tuesday nights off to pillage and plunder with the boys. Maybe something to eat? I just fed him. I meant for me. I'm starving. Man, I hope no one walks in right now. Come on, you can help me mix more formula. Ooh, can I have what's left over? Yeah, but don't expect me to burp you. <laughs> That's okay, I can handle that myself. <laughs> That wasn't so hard. Yeah. Well, maybe next time you should help a little more. Oh, my sweet mother of pearl. I have joined Shadow Seed. And now, so has the prince. <laughs> now, how do I turn this off? We gotta rest.
rescue the runt. I'll alert the guards. No, we'll do it as a small raiding party. I don't want the queen to find out. Let's go get Gatlin. Do we have to wear these costumes? These Grawl skins stink. That, uh, might actually be me. Comedian. Every group has one. <laughs> uh, I don't get these things. Oh, no, 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 he's doing it all wrong. It's left, then right. You are a very strange griffin. <laughs> General Ogun, run me another bath. <laughs> Maybe he's hungry. Grr, throw me down a bottle of milk. Stash. <laughs> Sorry, Quest. I think we're all out. Uh, I know, I know. Make a funny face. It always works on me. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! He said funny, not terrifying. Well, if it isn't the nanny and his maids. So, at last we meet for the last time. We never met a first time. Uh-oh. Ah! Uh. Ogan, here's what you've been waiting for. Okay. Let's do it. Rip him to pieces! Don't let him get the prince! Lost, Shadow Seed. Flagellus has warned you to this round quest, but not the battle. One day we will meet again for the very last time. I hate long goodbyes. What happened? It appears as though we're back in the royal kingdom. Now you stop crying. Sounds like the prince needs to be changed. Uh, he's not the only one. <laughs> oh. We won't say a thing. What the Queen doesn't know won't hurt. Oh, no. Because of the reckless behavior that you've displayed since you got here, Nestor fell into the hands of Shadow Seed. But the runt was hungry. Silence! You must pay for your crimes. I demand your head and any other parts of you that can be chopped off. Oh, <laughs> isn't that a little severe? Oh, let's have a vote. I say banishment. Uh, 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 uh. It's up to you, <laughs> Captain Gatling. I choose... Banishment. I'm afraid your fighting days are over, my friend. Hey, think of it as a second chance to follow your dreams. When I was a youth, I wanted to be a ballerina. Quest, <laughs> uh, you're back. You kept mumbling about your fighting days being over. Is that true? Never. My past is my past. But I've still got a quest to finish and a royal family to save. You know, it's funny, but I uh, suddenly got this craving for milk. Ugh, yeah, me too. Forget it. I'm out of that business. <laughs> Turbocharge backpack. The genius sisters use them like a lab rat. A neat freak dad at home, a super busy mom. The boy's best friend is a talking dog. That's right. Three extreme jeans and an air breathing shark. Mega action game controller skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Johnny says. The life of a boy named Johnny Test. C -c -c Johnny Test. Johnny Test. This is the life of a boy named Johnny Test. Ducky. <laughs> 
know what this means? Uh, you're excited to learn about how to protect our precious planet? No. I'm excited to go to the Earth Day Carnival at Pork Belly Central Park. I'm talking games, green chili cook-offs, and the world's biggest carbon neutral bounce house. And Dad said he'd take us at 10. Dad, grown man crying. It's that poor cat in the well. They can't get it out. It's so sad. Cat, yeah, bummer. Okay, Dad takes son and dog to fun carnival now. I can't go to the carnival knowing little kitty Hope is still stuck. Uh, so if somebody gets the dumb cat out of the hole, you'll take us? <gasps> sure. Mutate us into Johnny X and Sue. I gotta save a cat. Forget it, we're busy. Mutate us or I will rain down upon you with the force of a thousand annoying brothers for 500 moons. Wow, he sounds serious. Oh, I don't wanna save a cat. I hate cats. I'm a dog, it's my job. Yes, but you love carnivals and super bounce houses. Now fly, dog! Stand back, citizens, for this looks like a job for Johnny X! Okay, Dad, time to go to the carnival and... What now? Now there's a cat in a burning forest! Are you serious? <laughs> this looks like a job for... There's one in the front of a runaway train heading for a cliff. <laughs> Shift shifting powers, go! <laughs> so tired. No more super pooch. And what's with all the cats? Yes! <laughs> Gentlemen, our latest plot to destroy Tony Test! is working! My little helpless cat attacks are making him weak! Which means it will be easy to ice him with my new subatomic cryogenic freeze lasers! <laughs> now there's no way he can stop the Johnny Stopping Evil Force 5! <laughs> but there's only four of us now since the beekeeper likes Johnny. And that's why we have a new evil member. Gentlemen, I give you Zizra, King of the Mole People! I'm back! <laughs> Wait, isn't this thing on a swamp? No! Hurry. Good news! There are no more cats in danger, so let's hit the carnival! And wow, you guys look tired and... Ah, what's that? The Johnny Stopping Evil Force 5! Seeking revenge! Again! Um, but there's only four of you? I'm back! You already said that. Fine! Then you can all face my mutant power poots! Uh oh. Too tired to poot. Red! <laughs> Escape us, Johnny X! Not those dorks again! <laughs> you guys are in a stupid mutant costume! Do something! We're too tired from saving cats! Our powers are drained! Pull up the power in the mutation station and get you more energy! Hey, can I get some new powers, like seeing through walls and stuff? Just go! He's trying to get more power! Time to stop this experiment! Power! <laughs> Weird. I mean, weirder than normal. Like a camel. I'm feeling a hot sensation, Mike. <laughs> They've got mutant powers too. Let us put it to you this way. Part five. <laughs> <laughs> ah, get to the escape pod. <laughs> 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 Bad. Really bad. I know. How am 
am I gonna go to that carnival? No, it's bad because Dad is frozen, the Evil Force Five have taken over the house, and how are we going to defeat them without our lab? Well, there is still one super high-tech lab available. Oh, crud. Here's the deal. I'll let you use my lab if Susan goes to the carnival with me and kisses me in the tunnel of love. On the lips! Uh-huh, yeah. Or... <laughs> Lipstick Bling Bling Zapper. Nice. Mm -hmm. To the lab! Behold, the telekinesis machine. It provides new telekinetic mutant powers and their aggregations. Oh. Just stand on the X. I feel smart. And I can see things. Uh, well, what, what should we do, we do with, with our new evil mutant powers? powers? Hmm? Take over the world? Anyone? World domination? Hey, what about that Earth Day thing Johnny talked about? He said there's a chill E cook off. <laughs> <laughs> They're in the living room wondering what to do next. And that's right where we want them. Now, what other mutant powers do we have? You can teleport. No way! Just pull down both your arms, teleport to the house, defeat the evil Dork Five, and bring them back here to be locked up in this neuroplasma jail cell. Sounds like a plan. Johnny X and Super Doogie away! <laughs> oh, that is a cool mutant power at... They're gone! Hang on. <sighs> That's it! Run! Run from our mutant superiority! Oh, oh, mm. You guys have got to try this green chili! Oh! This one has extra beans! They're at the carnival and taking over the city. Of course. Teleport power activate! I know, I know. You want me to surrender and rename the city and blah, blah, blah. Come save us, Johnny X! Shout all you want, Maya, but Johnny X has run away! Think again, wacko. There's only two mutant yous and five mutant uses. Turn and burn, boys! Teleport! Oh, great. He can teleport now? We can't teleport. This is bad. I suggest you bolt, sir, while you still have nine lives left. Hey, want to go for a ride? Two down, three to go. I quit, sir. Oh, you'll be back. Come out, Johnny X and Super Dorky. Come out where I can see you. <laughs> there you are. Oh, this is so not fair! <laughs> Man, I hate that kid and super dog! Hey, why don't you just teleport the cage to the Earth Day Carnival and save the trips? Why not? I give up! Your mutant powers are too strong! I will get in the cage! And you'll unfreeze my dad and stop annoying me so I can go in the bounce house! Oh, yes! Yes! No! Because now you're frozen and completely immobile! Yes! We finally defeated Johnny X and Stupa Pooch! <laughs> and we are all doomed! And man, is this chili good with extra beans! I ate the whole pot! Did you say the whole pot? Oh, yeah! With extra beans and... Oh, I have mutant power poots, don't I? Looking for us? You had to eat the chili. You couldn't just get a corn dog. So how should we defeat them, super mutant powered pal of mine? The old fashioned way. <laughs> for saving our town once again. And now, let's enjoy our Earth Day Carnival. And take a wild ride on that super bounce house. Because the world is safe again. Oh, what now? Purely test. I told you I would return, and I have. 
So enjoy your end of the Earth Day Carnival! <laughs> I just wanted to jump in the boat house! <laughs> Man, it's hard to breathe with this thing on. I repeat, I just wanted to go on the giant bounce house! Suck out all the water and cut down all the trees on this wretched planet and... Get me Johnny Test! have another small problem. Curses! But no matter, Johnny will perish along with this Earth and... Daddy! Oh, crud. You said you were gonna invade the Earth! I said I would think about not invading the Earth, and I think about it, and well, I'm invading. We are supposed to be on vacation, and you promised not to work and not to seek revenge. I am an evil ruler. You don't like it? You get a job and support our planet. I'll gladly quit. I won't let this happen. That's it. You are grounded for the rest of this invading vacation. And no TV! Hmm. Okay. Relocate to the outer atmosphere and continue sucking up all of the Earth's resources. <laughs> We estimate the Earth has one hour left before all the water is gone and the lack of trees cuts off our oxygen. Then there's only one plan of action. Oh, please, Johnny, Susan, and Mary Tess, come help us. I got nothing. Hey, it works. And cool outfits. Uh, now, what do we do? We defeated Dork Vegan once, so we'll just do it again. Because I will not miss that carnival! With your cool alien ships, we'll fly up to his stupid mothership and knock out his force field. Then we'll fire the space defense laser cannons and destroy the armada, which will release the water and the trees, thus saving the Earth. Woo! Wait, I love you, kids! Let's do it! <laughs> Oh, Dark Vegan is so going down. Yeah, that's Johnny. Fire! I think it's us who is going down. Ugh. Anyone got a plan B? Vegan has reinforced his armada with massive weaponry that is too powerful for our earthly weapons. There's no beating him from the outside. Wait! This looks like a job for the new and improved... Johnny X! I'll teleport inside the ship and Vegan will have no idea I'm there. Now all I need is a big, evil, armada, blowy-uppy thingy. Johnny, this is an experimental doomsday blowy-uppy device. It's a prototype, which means you have but one shot. Good luck. Wait, I'm going with you. I won't let you do this alone. And I also love teleporting. It's fine. Then let's teleport out of here. Alien metal detected. Alien metal detected. Teleport back. Teleport back. What happened? They have some serious metal detectors, and they detected the doomsday thing. <gasps> the doomsday thing. <laughs> OK. We're out of weapons and most likely done as a planet. Oh, hey, I know. Why don't we go to the Earth Day Carnival and ride the big super bouncer one time before the world and us are destroyed? Who's with me? Wait, the carnival. That's it. We can get in Dark Vegan ship with some weapons. Some very powerful and weird mutant weapons. And sometimes I wish I was born a girl, you know? Maybe then I would have been nicer and not so evil. I wish you would shut up! <laughs> Well, it's about time somebody came and got us. I'm parched. And let's talk to process, huh? Let's talk about how there will be no Earth unless you help us. Come, Come again? again? The Earth has 10 minutes to live unless you join forces with Johnny and defeat evil. Ha! We will never help Johnny Tess! 
We want to destroy him! <laughs> That's why we made these cool costumes. But you also want to take over the world, and there'll be no world to take over if there's no world! You know, Johnny drives me nuts. <laughs> But he does make a good point. Okay, fellas. It's only temporary. But welcome to the Johnny Helping Not So Evil Boss 5! I know I'll regret this, but what's the plan? We teleport to the ship, and you guys protect me while I find Dark Vegan's moody yet helpful daughter Jillian and find out how to stop the Armada. You're serious? That's the plan? Well, it's all we got. Now, grab our hands and get ready to teleport. Wait! Be careful when using your mutant powers while holding hands. The conjoined connection could multiply your powers by 500%. Creating the ultimate yet highly unstable mutant power. Yeah, that's good to know. Go! Sir, the Earth will be depleted of all its resources in five minutes. Ha! I can only imagine the look on Johnny Tess's face right now. I told him I would return, and I did, in a big way. Yes, you did, sir. We have to find Jillian. Telepathic powers, go! She's locked in her room. In bedroom block, sea level. And we've got company! I'll hold them off. Get the girl! <laughs> ah, they zap my ear! Johnny, get us out of here! What's with the scary noise thing? We have an intruder, sir. Johnny. Earth's resource extraction complete in 1 minute, 23 seconds. Johnny, what are you doing here? I'm trying to save my planet. Is there any way you can help us? If you can get me to the central power station, if there's a self-destruction button that went pressed, we'll destroy the armada and release the resources back to your Earth, saving it. And you and no troopers will be hurt, because they'll just escape in pods. Yeah, that helps. That is the only way to travel, huh? Man, I wish I had that power. There you are! Neutralize them! But now, use your power booting powers! <laughs> now to press the self-destruction switch and the switch is gone! Ah, Daddy really does know best. Like knowing to remove the self-destruction switch. Oh, so close. Why are you always fighting with me? I love you! I'm your father! Oh, and ha! Johnny Test, you and your world are doomed. Earth's resource extraction complete in 45 seconds. I hate you, Daddy. No, you do not. And I know you like Johnny, but I don't know why. So I'll spare him and his weird friends by putting him in a zoo on Begandon, okay? Bye. We can't destroy the evil armada. The Earth is doomed, and so are we. I'm going to freak out now. <laughs> Wait, we can destroy it. Together, we can form one giant super mutant power and destroy the Armada. Yeah, and ourselves. Yeah, and save the Earth. You're brave, kid. And it's been nice knowing you, Johnny X. You know, I always thought it would end with a freezing blast, not a fiery one. Jillian, grab my dog and get to the escape pod. This is not going to be pretty. You're so brave, Johnny. If you were like 16, I would totally kiss you. I'll take that kiss. Ew. No, I'm staying here. Where is she going? What is he doing now? Johnny! Extraction completed in 10, 9. Mega power poop ready! Hey, thanks for picking me up that day in the pound. Thanks for being the best dog ever. Mega power poot! Go! Hey! Saved your world, but not himself. All he wanted to do was ride this stupid giant fun bounce house. He was the bravest underage soldier I ever knew. It's like I can hear him screaming and falling from the sky right now. Wait! Convenient. 
and fun. Johnny! <laughs> well, what did you think would happen? He's the star of the show. <laughs> Johnny Test, I will have my revenge! Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Just wait till after the carnival, will ya? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Why are we all laughing? I will get you! Marty, Allie, and Buttons continue their journey across the treacherous Grand Desert. But while out there, George, their friend, gets injured, and his malfunctioning leg is repaired by Allie. To make matters worse, a bounty of five million guilds has been put on Allie, and the reward money has brought all kinds of scoundrels into the desert. Some are eager to get the money, while others simply want Marty's legendary fist. As our heroes make their way across the desert, they now find themselves in one of the most dangerous areas of all, the fearsome Orange Valley. Uh, who are you guys? Steeljaw Jack, currently number one on the Federation's most wanted list. He disappeared suddenly after taking over the city's underworld four years ago. But recently, he's resurfaced. Two days ago, we sent a team to capture Jack. Unfortunately, that was unsuccessful, and the injuries they sustained were quite severe. Luckily, the leader of the operation, Sergeant Camo, came out unharmed, and he has a report. Sergeant, if you're ready, you may proceed. Sergeant Camo reporting for duty. Federation Army, 11th Company. Yesterday at 1400 hours, we tracked Steel Jaw Jack to a motel inside the Iron Tower's jurisdiction. There was a brief skirmish. All of my men sustained injuries. I continued on foot after him. But, sir, he vanished. I believe he fled to the Iron Tower. So Steel Jaw Jack escapes again. Not even the Federation Army's special ops team can catch him. What a sad day this is. I underestimated him, but my entire team is on his tail. We'll catch him, sir. Sergeant Camo, I want you to abort the operation and withdraw all of your men right away. What? But, sir, you know my troops have been tracking him for many months now. Sergeant, you seem to have forgotten that the Federation has transferred command of the army to the CDF now. But that's the... The CDF is the world's most powerful defense institution, Sergeant. This isn't about catching some petty felon. Steel Jaw Jack's return is just the tip of the iceberg. Yes. The intel we have is eye-opening. The very existence of the entire Federation's at risk. <sighs> I want 24-hour surveillance on Steel Jaw Jack. We can't afford another incident like the one that occurred with Sergeant Camo. Dispatch Ace Squadron immediately. Yes, sir. What? The Ace Squadron? This place? Where am I? Uh, are we in Crystal City already? What? No way! No way! I'm a robot, not a dog! Who did this? 
We've been captured, Buttons, and Mr. George is gone. Marty, can you get us out of here? Get this thing off of me! It moved! Now we're talking! You can do it, Marty! That's it, Marty! Don't give up! Neat. <laughs> wow, thanks a lot. Free at last. I don't know who locked us up here, but we're going to find out. You think you can break open that door, Marty? Hmm. <laughs> Come on, open the door. Is anybody out there? Can't you hear me knocking? Open the door! Forget about it, Buttons. Sugar on top! This is the only way. <laughs> I never thought I'd live to see this. Five million guilds walking straight into my house. And the Rhymer's the one who's gonna pay me. <laughs> <laughs> These kids making a scene with those bikers in your valley. They've got some nerve, Orange Mama. Good thing we snared them all. Oh? Yeah. Ah, it's perfect. But something fishy's going on. I don't know why Rhymer would waste all this money on one little girl. It doesn't make any sense. Do you really care what Rhymer's up to? Cha-ching! Cha-ching! Five million guilds, that's what I call a payday. You haven't learned anything at all, have you? If Rhymer puts five million on this girl, that means she's obviously worth more than five million. And knowing him, I'd say she's worth much, much more. If you want to be successful in this business, you have to know what your competition is doing. <laughs> Mama, you are so right. I really wish I could be as smart as you someday. <laughs> Until we find out Rhymer's true intentions, let's keep these kids our little secret. You got me? Well, of course. Huh? Mama! It's a big problem. Uh, the kid in the cellar. Oh, uh, you should take a look. Who? Who are you guys? Why did you lock us up in here? And where's Mr. George? What do you want with us? Oh, please, fish. You ask way too many questions, little boy. <laughs> Stay back! I knocked that door down and you'll get the same! Solitary confinement. This is no ordinary boy. What? What did you just say, Mama? That kid's going in the battle pit competition. How does this sound for a catchy name? The boy with the atomic punch stands in the ring of doom. <laughs> oh my, Mama, no. Come on, now. I know his punch can knock down a steel door. We saw that with our own eyes. I could hardly believe what I was seeing, but please, participating in a competition where the most powerful in the underworld come to brawl? Well, that's absurd. Absurd? What do you know about good entertainment? I... Uh, um... Now, listen, I want to find out what Rhymer is planning to do with these kids, but to figure out his scheme, it's going to take some time. 
So while we're waiting, why not use the kid to make a little more money? What's the harm in that? We can sweeten the pot a little until our five million guilds gets here. <laughs> you are one clever lady, Mama. Duke von Reimer. Before he and his crew of thugs came along, everything in the Grand Desert was mine for the taking. But then he went and built that iron tower. <sighs> Reimer, too bad for you. Orange Mama's still alive and kicking. So, you wanna play tough? Well, I can play tough. <sighs> this will be my turf. <laughs> see him again <laughs> well of course we will buttons <laughs> marty's really smart yeah. looks like we're just gonna have to wait for him and don't worry we'll find a way out of here yeah you're right marty will be okay so what is this place that old lady must run it did you see her what an old hag a witch in orange and that belly Take him to solitary confinement. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's there? <gasps> oh, no. Miss, are you all right? <laughs> uh, 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 someone's out there. <laughs> someone's spying on us. Uh, I told you to hold me up straight. Uh, whoopsie. My apologies, you miss. You big dumbbell. Hello there. Uh, so, mm -hmm. like your new home? Uh, hey, uh, where have you taken my friends? Um, hmm. Are you talking about that girl and the robot dog? Oh, they're doing wonderfully. Don't worry about them. They're in the finest room in this place, almost uh, as good as your room. Hey, where's Mr. George? Hmm, that thing in your hand doesn't look like a new model to me. You get it illegally? A part like that would go for what? About 2,000 guilds? Three, maybe? Hey! I want to know what happened to that big truck driver robot that was with us. Uh, listen, kid, there's no reason for you to start yelling at me. We threw out all the robots that were with you. I have no idea if one of them was a truck driver named George. What? What do you mean, threw him out? Uh, look, kid, you can ask all the questions you want later. Apparently, Mama saw something she likes in you. So that glove thing of yours better work in the ring or else you'll be sorry. Anyway, you've been requested to compete in the Orange Valley Grand Wrestling Finale. Wrestling? You gotta be kidding! Why would I want to do something like that? I just want to get out of here. Just as I thought. I knew you'd want to be a tough guy and you wouldn't cooperate with me. Have you heard the news? There's huge money involved. Uh, I knew it! It's the reward money you're after! <sighs> Whoa! Stay back! Start the magnet now! Uh, right away, Mr. Mike! Huh? Ah! <coughs> hey, get me down! <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother wasting your energy struggling. This magnetic ceiling is designed to lift a ton of steel. Face it, you're stuck there as long as I say you are. I can see you're an ignorant little brat. You obviously don't know anything about anything. Orange Valley is an amazing underground city that features, ta-da, a championship battle every year. You're in it. Get used to it. All you have to do, my friend, is show up in the ring and be ready to battle. Okay? Can you handle it? No! I don't want to battle with anybody! Hmm. Who knows? If you were lucky enough to win your battle, you would become the most popular kid in the Grand Desert. And Mama might let you go, but I seriously doubt it. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like a dream come true? Yeah. Ah! 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 Uh -oh! Oh! Go away! Oh! <laughs> oh. Whoa! Uh, hey, who pushed me? Miss Jenny! I told you never to come near this place! I don't understand this, Mr. Mike. What's not to understand? Get me down from here and we'll talk. We don't want Orange Mama to find out about this, do we? Oh, that would be bad. How can a kid like him be in the battle pit competition? Except for me, they don't let kids near the ring when the battles are going on. Did they change the rules or something? In seven years, I've never seen another kid. Hey, short stuff. 
You're holding up six fingers, not seven. Huh? Um, one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, seven. Don't just stand there. Get her out of here right now. <laughs> Grab her or you're scrapped. <laughs> Hey, you're not allowed to be in the competition. And that's because you're just a little kid like me. Well, get her! <laughs> Come on, Papa. You need some exercise. You're resting! <laughs> that kid. Well, <laughs> this is quite a predicament, isn't it? But get this. You're gonna be in the battle pit competition, you understand? <gasps> and that's an order from Orange Mama. Sir, I've located Steel Jaw Jack's vehicle. This is Ace of Hearts. I have a visual on our target. He's moving north toward Aznan. The target has extremely high combat ability. Be careful. Avoid confrontation if possible. You know what to do. Affirmative. I will maintain distance and continue pursuit. Wait, he just made a right toward the B-45 tunnel. Hmm. Club, spade. Prepare to attack the exit of B-45. As soon as he's out of the tunnel, proceed with the plan. Roger that, sir. Good. Now it looks like it's time for fun. Sex. <laughs> supposed to start battling? What if I win? Would they really let me go? No. If they've already got their minds on the reward money, they'd never let us off the hook that easy. But if I say I don't want to battle, they might just turn us in right now. Oh, man. I thought I was going to see Dad at Crystal City. He's probably already there waiting for us. I wish you were here right now. <gasps> Oh, 
Marty. Wherever you are, get to Crystal City as soon as you can. The Grand Desert hides dangerous traps within its sands. If something should happen to you... No. No, you're the last hope. I know you can make it. You must reunite with Master Gaff before it's too late. I know you can make it. Good luck, Marty. I'm counting on you. We've swept the entire surface of the Grand Desert, Dr. Chen, but we still can't find the kid. Well, at least my work is almost complete. I am quite certain the General would be most displeased with your lack of results, though. Huh. <laughs> Gaff ambushes our troops at every turn. The boy doesn't seem to be following a straight path, and the family steward won't say a thing about it. We've tried to make him talk, but he won't. Should I try a more drastic means of persuasion? <laughs> no, that won't be necessary. The boy has the fist, and that kind of power won't be so easy to conceal. There's not a place he can hide without the masses noticing him. They'll want to see this wonder boy and reveal his location. And yet it seems strange that you cannot find him. Your incompetence is a real problem, Scar. When you next report to me, I hope you have better news. Robot engines for breakfast. I'm not gonna have to battle them, am I? This is nuts. This is no place for me. <gasps> it doesn't look like there's any way out of here. Yoo hoo! <gasps> you ready for the big day? <gasps> now it's showtime! I don't know how long a kid like you can last in the ring, but whatever mama wants, mama gets. Here's the rules, so listen up. Punch, kick, get punched, get kicked, bite, tickle. Basically, you have to do whatever it takes to win the battle, okay? Get it? There are no time limits, so the battle's over when you or your opponent can't get up. Oh, yeah. By the way, you're gonna need that padding. I hope it fits. I designed it myself. Hey, kid, good luck. Ah. <sighs> 